Well, thank you very much. And uh, of course, uh, getting in touch with me at a time when I'm so much excited uh, for this award. Uh, however, obviously, you're wondering why this award. It's, a, it's called Artist Pan African Impact Award. An award which I was uh, a, a given by Identity Media um, after a rigorous process which involves uh, starting by a nomination. Then from a nomination it was subjected to a panel of jury and um, in terms of this award it was um, subscribed throughout Africa in many states people who were doing uh, artistic uh, projects in their communities and uh, it was obviously looking at how we are impacting on the society. So as one of the contestants to the award, obviously they had to take a review of my work that I have done. I am sure uh, I am a film writer, director, producer. Equally, I am into a lot of advocates in the art sector, mainly the film industry, uh, where I am looking also at the funding side. But however, as a producer of Village Secrets, uh, its impact, it's a community-based project, which I started in my rural community in Ichivu, where I went rural and I said, my brothers, my sisters, everyone in our village, let's come together and have this film project. We started from humble beginnings with not even doing auditions, but it was an issue of a passion-driven project, which was oversubscribed by everyone in the community. So when we shot the drama series Village Secrets, that was then 2016, we never thought it would see light of its day on national television. But after its release of its trailer, we invited to the national broadcaster, which saw us being commissioned to broadcast on the national television, which started on the 14th of uh, the April uh, 2019 to date, and it's showing every week. Now it's showing three, three days a week. Uh, which is a unique project in Africa. So, in a nutshell, the profile to this project has propelled me to win this award. Uh, it was, uh, I had to shake off a lot of pressure throughout Africa. I remember after this award, they told us that there were thousands and thousands of people who, were, who submitted their profiles in terms of their community impact on the art sector throughout Africa. But through the adjudication process, uh, there was elimination uh, until we were the last 10, we were the last 5, and finally I made it to the last through, uh, through a jury process. And then the final hurdle was through a vote, was they said, if really what we are doing to the community is impactful, then we have to make sure that we gather enough votes. So we went neck to neck with others, uh, there was a lady uh, from South Africa and uh, there was also a guy from Kenya uh, we were the last three and uh, the battle lines were drawn and of course for me it was very easy because being someone who is practically on the ground and I'm so sure my project was well noticed throughout the country uh, I don't even know how many people voted me but what I simply know is that I won resoundingly with 50% of the poll and the one who was following me was at 43% and the other one was at 1%. So, which was uh, actually a big endorsement. And this is my first award. Um, like, I was so sure that it was too early for me to receive an award. Of course, I'm almost 10 years in the industry. But the fact that I went rural and I decided to take people from the remote parts of the country, it was difficult for me to rise to the top to make sure that I get an award, which is different with the scenario with other producers. They go for those award, those people who have already won awards, and it's very easy to get an award. But this award, I really appreciate it. I worked it from scratch, and uh, I believe this is a sign of uh, hard work. And I would like to extend my compliment to the organizers of the event, which saw me winning this award by coming up with a unique approach in terms of the awarding system whereby they not only focused on the artistic expression of what we do but they also looked at the community impact and this is a motivation ladies and gentlemen it is still possible to go rural to those remote parts of the country 
and do something that is impactful uh, at an African level, and there is the award. It's a sign that there's still hope, there's a lot of hope. If we go rural, we go back to our roots and we put effort to what we do. And with the determination and courage, this is where I am. Africa is speaking, and I've spoken and make a, made a statement across Africa.